me with my new putter. Yeah, I've took the plunge and that is the putter I'm gonna to commit to for 2018. It will not be moving out of the bag. You heard it here first. Remind me of this in a few months. When I bought the putter, I was talking to the lads in four golf and they said, why don't you do a review on the putter? And the reason I don't do a review on putters is one simple reason, because for me, it is a, the most personal thing that you can possibly buy in the bag. Everything needs to be custom fit in terms of golf clubs. But I think you can give an opinion on a driver on a set of irons. I think it's very difficult to give an opinion on a putter that is relative to somebody else. Because like I said, it's the most personal club in the bag, in my opinion. Because for me, putting is all about the way some, or choosing a putter is all about the way it looks, the way it feels, the way it sounds, the way it sits on the ground. And that's, like I said, to me, very much suited to the individual. But there are, other, there are other reasons why I chose this putter and why I think that it is important that we all get this bit right when choosing a putter. So let's get back over to Hessel and find out exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so let me start by telling you first of all the putter it is that I've chosen to play in the bag. It's the new TP collection, Taylor Made. It's the copper black as they call it and I've chosen this. Let's get a good focus on that. That's the Ardmore 3. Now then, first of all, why did I choose this putter for me personally? Let's start with the first thing I was drawn to. That I was drawn to how these copper black putters look. A few images on screen for you now. I think it's an absolutely awesome looking range, but once again, that's very much down to personal choice. So it's again, not something that you can perhaps look to do a review on and pass an opinion because looks, it's all down to the individual. There are four different styles within the range. Why did I choose this one for my game? Well, first of all, I've always chosen a mallet style putter. But when I choose a mallet style putter, I don't like anything too bulky. And sometimes that can be the if you look at the spider for example which I've tried once again can be quite a big cumbersome piece of kit on the bottom of uh, on the bottom of the shaft and it's too big for me too bulky so once again I like a bit of weight and there's two 10 gram weights let's have another close look at this because you can't get sick of looking at this in my opinion two 10 gram weights it's got a bit of weight in there I don't like the counterbalance putter so again none of that going on but I like first of all a mallet style putter which again suits my swing type which is a fairly straight or, or a, a, a minimal arc in the swing so once again once you've decided and you need to get somebody to have a look at your putting type then you can go to the putter style that is supposed to suit your putter type your putting type rather that is make sense okay so so far I'm always drawn to the mallet style putter, it suits my putting style, I like the look of it, but then there's another thing that I'm really always drawn to and have always preferred the putters that have the L neck, and the L neck is this. Okay, so just that little bit of uh, the club head is set back from the shaft, and once again, I like that style, and I like the way next thing is how this sits behind the ball so for me i just love like i said the way it's sat i love the simple very simple alignment eh? just that single white line but again it's just how it sits it's a 34 inch uh, length of shaft and again where the position that i'm sort of sat in immediately over the ball the putter just seems to drop straight into position and i'm comfortable so i feel already before we go too far I'm already, I'm comfortable over the putt. Okay, so at this point we're all talking about, or I'm talking about things that are very personable to me. All about what suits my eye, about we talked about the length of the shaft, again, how I feel comfortable. So this is all very much suited to the individual. It's all about personal preference. There is nothing, I couldn't do a putter review. I couldn't relay any of that information that's relative to you if I reviewed this putter as it stands now because everything I've mentioned so far is all about what suits me, what suits my eye and then we talk about the insert that's in these putters 
okay now once again some people like a soft feel some people like a harder feel some like their milled face so again what I've chosen and again I love this because once again when I seen this putter was released I used to love the old Rossa putters and it's very similar to the insert that's in the Rossa putters and straight away it's quite a hard feel to be honest with you um, but again that's very much personal to me it's what I like from a putter but that's very much down to the individual yet again so we're still not getting down to the reason the one thing that I think is the same for all of us and why we base the majority of our decision on what putter we choose is based on one thing alone. I'm going to get to that very, very shortly. Pace, alignment, choosing a line, they again are all things back down to the individual. That's down to your capabilities when you're stood over a putt. But the ability to start the ball off in the right direction is all that matters to me when I've got a putter. So if I choose to start the ball off a few centimetres right a hole, I choose my line and I set that ball off on that line and the putt misses, whether it be down to pace or whether it be to read in the green wrong, then that's an error by me in judgment. Something to do with the putter, I've started the ball off, and it's nothing to do with my technique because I've started the ball off on the line that I chose. The things that I got wrong were pace and line. They're the reasons that I would have missed that putt. As long as I've started off on the target line that I was aiming for. So for me, it all comes down to this putt. It's the three or four footer. It's straight at the back of the hole. Can I, with everything I've just mentioned, I like the feel, I like the alignment, I like the way the ball sits, I like the, the, the length of shaft, but can I start this ball off at the centre of that cup, hit it firmly and hold this putt? Because that's what it all, it is all down to. If I can do that bit right, then I can hold any putt if I get pace and alignment right. And firm. Bang. We'll take that one. Now, it may seem a very simplistic viewpoint and approach to putting, but for me, that's how I judge a putter. When I go in to try a putter, whether it be on practice screens or in a shop, that's the first thing I do is I line the ball up four feet from the hole, I aim at the back of the cup and I hit it firm and see if I can start holding putts. And for me, all them other things, all them other boxes that I like to tick when choosing a putter are all down to my personal choice, but ultimately, once I've got that bit, so in this case I love the look of this putter, everything about this putter ticked a box for me, but the fact was, could I align a putter up from four foot and hold it? I feel that like I can. I'm not going to do it every time, obviously I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm the average golfer, but I feel that if I put the right stroke on it, I can achieve that putt. And therefore for me, no matter what distance I'm at, everything else will be about can I set that ball off for the first three or four foot of its roll and everything else is left down to my ability to control pace and choose a line. I hope that made sense. I'm no expert on putting. I'm not trying to teach anybody to put. That's how I've chose my putter. And what I wanna know is, does that make any sense? And how do you choose your putter? So as ever, comments down below. Thumbs up if you like the video. I'm glancing down the fairway because there's somebody about to play to the green. So we've got to wrap this up shortly. Plenty of comments down below, thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you don't already and I'm going to move this camera very very quick.